Hi, this is your host Sapin Bhartia and in this special issue of TFR Newsroom for the Cloud Foundry Summit, today we have with us Julian Fisher, CEO and founder of AnyNice. AnyNice is participating in the, in the show, uh, the summit. Can you please tell us about the talk that you will deliver at the event? The talk is about uh, how to integrate service brokers with Kubernetes operators. And the background of the talk is that uh, Cloud Foundry um, makes steps towards Kubernetes. As you may have heard, there, there are opportunities nowadays to run Cloud Foundry on top of Kubernetes. And um, so imagine you have a Kubernetes environment and you decided to have a Cloud Foundry on top of that Kubernetes environment. It may also happen that you do have um, one or multiple Kubernetes operators taking care of uh, data service lifecycle management. Well, whether this makes sense or not is a discussion that we should have another time, but um, let's just take for granted for now that there could be operators and people want to integrate these operators in a Cloud Foundry environment. Now, if you want to do that, um, you will have to provide a service broker implementing the service broker API um, and then register that with your Cloud Foundry environment. And in the talk, uh, we're going into the details on how the Service Broker API looks like and what it means to integrate a Kubernetes operator uh, using a Service Broker, what are the obstacles, and what are the challenges.